This was the yeah. 2008 Indoor Big Ten Championships at the University of Minnesota. So we were hosting that meet at home. My team, the Gophers, had just won their first ever Big Ten title uh, my freshman year indoors in 2000, or sorry, excuse me, outdoors in 2006. And we won our first ever indoors in 2007. So our team was just kind of on a bit of a tear of our own of feeling that mm -hmm. momentum and success of working together. So this was the time of the season where my coach said that every athlete who had a potential to earn a point in event in any event would go to the well, they would do everything they can to try and earn points mm -hmm. and um, succeed for the team. So as a fairly talented and versatile athlete myself, I was running both the mile and the 600 meters individually alongside the four by four on the last night of the event as well. So mm. this occurred over two days, usually the mile and the 600 meters prelims were on the first, and then you are referring to mm. the 600 meter final, which happened maybe 45 minutes after the mile. So oh like my I, gosh. <laughs> it was a, it, yeah, it was definitely a very hefty schedule for anyone who's followed track and field to know oh. just how tight those races were together. Yeah. So I would wake up in the morning on big 10 finals days with my heart beating out of my chest, just knowing like what I would need to accomplish that day. Yeah. But as I said, I kind of rely on my faith and in my racing and in competition. So I kind of told myself all things are possible through Christ. And my other mantra was I'm a machine for the team because <laughs> it really didn't seem like the kind of thing that a person could humanly do. So I like yeah. to think of myself as just this mechanical being that just would do what needs to be done to achieve uh -huh. what we wanted to do together. So that's kind of how I would enter into these events and what I was thinking about on the starting line of the race. And if you want, I can kind of talk you through the race a little bit from my perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. please. Sure, sure. Okay. So I, the race started and as I had just finished my last race, you know, shortly before I decided that I would just be a little bit conservative in the first two laps and let anyone who wanted to lead the race, lead the race, because big 10 championships are not about time. You don't have to run the like fastest. Right. You just need to be first to earn the most points. So I followed behind a Penn state runner named Fondor, who is actually a really good 400 meter hurdler as well. And I just was biding my time until that final lap where I started to make a room move around the outside of her to really um, get in charge in the last lap and lap and try and speed away with it. And just as I was kind of going around her and cutting back into the inside lane, I felt a little bit of a nick on one of my heels. And as I was trying to correct for that foot kind of feeling out of place, the other one felt like it got stepped on from behind and I was just going down fast. So from my recollection of things, I, I know that my hands hit the track, but I kind of, what I pictured happening was that I just kind of like fell to a kneeling position, smacked my hands on the ground, which is never a good place for your hands to be during a race. <laughs> and then just got up and started running again. But it was really shocking to me once I did get up just to see how much distance uh, the race had gapped me by at that point. I was like, man, I barely fell. I don't know why they got so far ahead of me, mm -hmm. but I just really wanted to finish the race because I knew even if I got dead last in my heat that I would still earn one point for the team and it was going to be a very tight finish for the championship overall. So got back up and started running and kind of just started surprising myself because I was catching one person on the back stretch and I thought like, wow, that's a lot better than I thought you were going to do. <laughs> like pat on the back. Nice job, Heather. You caught one. And it wasn't until kind of coming around the final curve of that last lap that I heard the in-house announcer say, and watch out for Heather Dornadin, which was my maiden name at the time. And I was like, yeah, watch out for me. Like I just <laughs> got this incredible surge of momentum where it felt like I was speeding up and everyone else was slowing down. And I had just enough gas in the tank to be able to sneak by my own teammate at the finish line to win my heat. 